From randomly generated roguelikes to real life guitars, here are the best music games you can play on PC right now. The plastic peripherals of Guitar Hero and Rock Band might be clogging landfill sites across the globe, but the toe-tapping music game continues to go from strength to strength on PC. Whether you're using games to learn guitar in real life, or sustaining an audio-visual assault that will leave your corneas singed and your pulse racing, this list proves that there's a rhythm action game for even the most tone-deaf, metronomically challenged players. Here then, in no particular order, are the best music games you can play on PC. Choosing the original Songwriter sequel might be a little controversial, but there's nothing like Audio Surf 2 to test your gaming reaction times and swear you were better at this 10 years ago. The joy of Audio Surf is that it's effectively infinite, or at least as endless as your music library, as you import your songs and speed along your tracks. There's even a ridiculous variation of ways to play each track. Maybe the old school mono is your favourite, or perhaps you're feeling like a cognitive Olympian and are ready for super sprint. Throw in the changes in style and the fact that you still take on the entire world every time you play a track, and Audio Surf is still the one to beat when it comes to ridiculous reaction times and feeling like you're literally on top of the globe when you're the best on the planet at a b-side that no one has ever heard of. It totally counts, right? What's better than Tetris, you ask? Tetris with amazing music, of course. Sorry, Titonomos, I still love you, but Luminez Remastered is a brilliant block shuffler with an exceptional soundtrack. It's also the first of two games from the legendary Tetsuya Mizuguchi on this list. The combination of brilliant beats and unique power-ups make Luminez a sheer joy to play, and while you've got to think about matching colours and blocks, this is all about the moving tempo bar making its way across the screen. Make enough blocks before the line sweeps by, and you'll earn combos as well as more space on the board. The music here is never just a second thought. Crank up your headset, take in the minimalist neon visuals and plug yourself into the music. We're only allowing one VR game on this list, but even if we didn't have any, Beat Saber would probably smash down the doors with its relentless, utterly joyous rhythm slashing. Sure, it starts off simple with slower beats and downward strokes, but these are no ordinary drumsticks. Let the tempo ramp up and you'll be inundated with notes demanding to be slashed in just the right direction. Imagine yourself as a knight with dual swords, and these notes are your enemies and, you know, you get the idea. Pump heady drum beats into your brain to match with a stack of brilliant tracks and you've got exactly what it's like to be surrounded by Beat Saber's intense world. It's loud, it's addictive, and yes, it's a serious workout and your back and shoulders are really going to hurt tomorrow. Rhythm games come in all shapes and sizes. While Crypt of the Necrodancer isn't going to teach you to play the actual guitar or feel like a techno god or goddess, it will make you a rhythm-tapping roguelike master. Heading into procedurally generated dungeons with cadence, yep, lol, means losing your heart to a nefarious entity known only as the Necrodancer, and then being forced to take on various foes within to the beat of the vital organ she's lost. This means that every move, every attack and every vital dodge must be performed exactly to the beat of the heart at the bottom of the screen, and thus Danny Baranowski's incredible score. It's a conceit that just doesn't get old. These dances of death with skeletons, monkeys, ghosts and all kinds of other undesirables become almost poetic. Boss battles suddenly become dance-off worthy of a pitch-perfect sequel. That is, until King Konga kills you. Again. Yeah, yeah, he beat you. Oh, never mind. Just proving that rhythm games can really, really hate you too, Just Shapes and Beats is up next on our greatest hits list. Not wanting to leave out the bullet hell genre, this is an eye and ear offensive as you simply try and stay out of the way of everything that wants to kill you. And of course, that means the whole game. Whether you're exploring story mode or taking on bosses, your little colourful shapes are never too long for this world. Just Shapes and Beats even lets you play and repeatedly die with up to four friends with great music echoing in your ears. Your eyes might water as you try not to blink and stay alive for those extra precious seconds, but there's something dangerously one more go compelling about Just Shapes and Beats that will keep you turning up the volume and returning to the fray over and over again. 
So here it is, the worthy entry on this list. Rocksmith from Ubisoft's San Francisco branch actually teaches you to play the guitar. Not a plastic guitar of dusty shame, but a very real one. Now available with just a real tone cable instead of the original Gibson Epiphone guitar, Rocksmith transforms your electric guitar or bass into a real peripheral that actually gives you real skills. None of that I can play Dragon Force on Expert cuts it here. Rocksmith starts off simple as you build up those little calluses on your left hand, but before long you'll be riffing with the best of them. Guaranteed to teach you to play the guitar in just 60 days, provided you stick with it and don't expect the game to be actual magic, Rocksmith comes with a stack of songs, but don't fret, of course you can download more as DLC. I'm not going to talk about the questionable peripherals over the year for the game, but there's something very special about Rez. The brainchild of Tetsuya Mizuguchi, who we spoke about before, this blend of neon visuals and joyous techno is all about eliciting synesthesia. To save you googling it, basically Res Infinite wants to make you feel colour and sound, and if any game can do it, it's this one. You start off as a mere ball, before evolving into a humanoid shape, shooting through glowing worlds of infinite lines and lights. Sure, it's fine in HD form as you aim and destroy enemies, but jump into the optional VR mode and things get serious. Dropping into Rez's glowing computer network interior is like intravenously plugging into Goosebumps Central. Plus, while you're moving ridiculously fast, the presence of a central character in the midst of the VR carnage means you won't even get that traditional VR-induced stomach lurching. All of the synesthesia and none of the vomit. Rhythm violence doesn't really sound like a genre that anyone should experience, let alone play. But then Thumper comes along to orally assault your eardrums, and it's somehow the best genre you didn't even know you needed. It turns out that hurtling along a track as a giant metal bug while drums desperately pound in the background is ridiculously compelling in ways you didn't even know. Thumper starts out simple as you scoot around corners, but before long you're beating giant bosses made exclusively of enormous skulls and violently hammering all kinds of relentless button combinations to stay in the game. Thumper is noisy, brutal and unforgivingly difficult, but there's nothing to do but journey back inside the madness for one more go. And yes, you can get the soundtrack on Spotify and you need to turn it up. No, louder than that. Much louder than that. Here's a warning, if you play too much Geometry Dash and then look away, you'll watch the whole world pulling itself in one direction as your eyes strain to go back to seeing things not travelling at 100 miles an hour. This is a platformer so intense and simple that no matter how many attempts you have, oh, yep, I'm, I'm doing well, it's never quite enough to perfectly match the movement of your little block to the pounding techno beats. Things start off relatively simple with gaps and spikes, but before long you're using trampolines, or uh, avoiding them, and jumping on glowing spheres to give you a double jump. Miss a beat and you'll die. It's that simple. Geometry Dash doesn't suffer fools, but push through the pain barrier and there's few games that will deliver the exhilarating rush of achievement as you reach another personal best. Oh well, better luck next time. And the next time. And finally, an encore, if you will. Bittrip Runner 2 Future Legend of Rhythm Alien is a platformer that demands pitch-perfect accuracy as you run, jump and slide through its bright side-scrolling worlds. There's no room for misjumps here, as you'll find out by heading back to the checkpoints staffed by, you know, a pickle, and you'll build the soundtrack as you play. There's plenty of death here, but somehow even being pulled back half a level won't put you off as the beats happily pulse away in your ears with every jump and you know you'll ace the rhythm the next time. Throw in some brilliant narration from Mario himself, Charles Martinez, and 120 levels to survive your way through, and Future Legend of Rhythm Alien is great fun that demands masterful music maestros. Oh, and did I mention the costumes? There's costumes. So after that smorgasbord of oral gifts, that's the 10 best music games you can play on PC right now. Drop us a like if you like my music puns, let us know in the comments below if we've missed your favourite musical masterpiece, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more videos and features just like this one.